Um, but matplotlib is also used to plot images, um, or can be used to plot images. So um, I just wanted to show you that real quick, um, just as kind of a side thing before we move on and look at Seaborn. Okay, so um, I had to pull in another library here called CV2, and that's this open computer vision library. And what we're using that for is to read in an, a JPEG image file using imread, IM which is the function that's made available in the CV2 or the open computer vision uh, library there. Um, the next thing we do here is we use IM show. And now IM show does come from matplotlib. So this is basically image show, which is used to show raster based images. Um, and then we feed the image. Now, what I'm doing here is this CVT caller. This is coming from the CV2 um, uh, library. So we feed it the image and then this uh, function here, or I guess, yes, this function. So the issue is that um, um, this image is blue, green, red, but matplotlib actually expects the band order to be red, green, blue. So this sw swaps the bands around so that the bands are in the order that's expected by the mshow um, function. If you fiddle a lot with images in Python, this stuff can be really frustrating. So sometimes it, you know, it expects red, green, blue. Sometimes it expects blue, green, red. Sometimes it expects the, if it's a multi-dimensional array for the channels to be first. Sometimes it expects it to be last. Um, so it can be a little frustrating. It depends on the packages you're using and sometimes you have to change or reshape objects if you convert between. That's kind of what's going on here. So anyway, this is, this is an image on my disk. This should, um, and then this should plot it using matplotlib. Note I put axis off. So if, if you don't do that, oh, let me code that out for a second. Then you, uh, then it leaves on the marker. So these are effectively like the you know, rows and columns of pixels. Um, but that's not super, well, not always super useful for an image. So if you do off, it won't print the axes and looks more like an image. So anyway, that's an example of an image. Um, and this is just showing putting an image into a, a subplot. And all I did here is just use the same image. I just mapped it to all four, so to multiple subplots. <coughs> so again, we saw this above. So here I'm, I'm changing the default size of the figure. I'm creating a figure with, with, uh, with four subplots, two, or two rows and two columns. And then I'm just mapping that or 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 play or putting that image in each of the subplots so you know put the image in the subplot turn off the axis so on and so forth um this tight layout is useful this can be this is good whenever you want to like minimize the space between the subplots uh we'll look at it with and without that in a minute if you want to see it and then it, um the set face collar is changing the collar and then plot show shows it there we go. So the again, this like set face color. That's what made it gray. So let's just uh, before we move on, I'm gonna comment that out. Oops, wrong place. We'll comment that out there, and comment this out. So you can see here, it puts a good bit of blank space around them by default. So this tight layout will. Um, and you provide here some width and height padding arguments. You can kind of get rid of that. And then here, this pa this set color uh, face color. All that's really doing is uh, changing the changing the background color. There we go. So anyway, that's uh, plotting images. That's kind of a quick side note.